we're here at 90 Mile Beach with fishing legend Rob Parker and he's going to take us through the basics of surf casting. I like these guides, eh? Oh, nice. Man. Yeah, yeah, big guides are good on a rod. I like them, uh, yeah, when you give that five ounce sinker a bit of a hurry up. The uh, sinker, well, my sinkers travel at 300 miles an hour. Really? Yeah. I grew up with a tall rod because uh, uh, when you stand in the surf, you like to keep the line above as many waves as you can, especially if there's a, a drift down the beach, which not many days you can fish on this coast and there's not a drift down the beach, so yeah. So I like a tall rod. I mean, it's a preference really. I mean, not, not everyone likes uh, tall rods. I mean, you, it's just what you get brought up with, I suppose. It's a 14 footer, so the ones I use very similar to this are 15 foot. My rod cost me 150 bucks 20 years ago and pff, shut the gate, eh? Yeah. This is really basic. I grew up using this. A swivel, a line to a sinker, and a line up to a hook. Um, they don't care what it looks like down there. If they're hungry, they're gonna be into it, eh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the shorter the rig, the better. The more, more swing you've got on it, eh? Closer to the tip of the rod. So you, you tend to get a lot more power closer to the rod. Hey, I love small swivels, eh? I reckon the um, smaller the swivel, the better the turn, eh, in the water. I don't know why big swivels seem to don't, don't turn as much, but... Okay, so we've got a about a six ounce rated rod. We're not gonna use six ounces because I'm not that strong anymore. So it works like an anchor, eh? Yeah. Yeah, quite often you throw it into a current or, or a rip where the fish are. The more I fish, the more I go back to my old days where I only use one hook. So that hook there is what I would call perfect. Oh, yeah, you know, right. like sort of uh, one piece of bait, one hook, five burrows, anything up to eight. You can just tie a knot, whatever you're comfortable with, but I prefer the, um, the snail. And you can Google them, they're, they're everywhere. Yep. Even TikTok can got them. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see that, but it's got a nice barb on it. Once that fish gets hooked, it'll be pretty hard to get off that. So there she is. Just basic, eh? I just find that uh, two hooks seem to get tangled up a bit more. When you get hooked on a single hook, a fish on a single hook like that, uh, very seldom they get off, especially a snapper, eh? I, I don't know why they... I think it's simple, you know? Yep. Keep it simple. And that's me, that's, that's me.